Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Praying in the desert. When Moshe approaches Pharaoh to ask him to free the Israelites, he says, The Lord said, Let my people go, so that they may worship me in the desert. But why do they need to go to the desert? Why can't they worship God right where they are? It has to do with the idea of making regular worship and ritual practice a part of your life. Too often people tell me, I don't need to pray or do all those rituals. I'm doing fine. And the fact that they're doing fine might be true, but that's exactly the time to make regular worship and ritual practice a part of your life. Because when things don't go well, and inevitably in, in everyone's life some difficult times arise, when that happens you won't be prepared. The desert is a desolate place. It's devoid of almost everything. God wanted to make sure the Israelites understood that faith is meant to sustain us in the desert, so that means preparing for that time and nurturing one's faith beforehand. As Rabbi Moshe of Kobrin taught, we need to light the fire of faith when we have the opportunity, so that when we need it to give us light and warmth, it will be there for us. We connect to God through prayers and through rituals when life is going well, so that when we need to call upon God in our hour of need, that connection is already there. I look forward to seeing you at Shabbat services at TRZ, Saturday evening, Friday evening at 7.30 p.m. at Sisterhood Shabbat, and Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.